In today's gameplay, we're going to talk about step by step what I'm thinking and what I look for whenever I'm playing Warzone. But not only that, this gameplay is a solo versus squad on the brand new Albagra map. And also, this is a sweaty lobby. So there'll definitely be a lot to learn. But right here, we're getting shot by this guy's teammate, right? So what I wanted to do was get the re-knock on him. So he's no longer a threat. I don't have to worry about him self resing and shooting me. And after I do that, I immediately want to look for his teammate to see how aggressive he's playing. Is he pushing me? Like, like what is he doing? I think he kind of gave up on saving his teammate or he just got distracted because there is fighting to my left. You guys see there's a ping over here. So all we're doing is we're moving over, looking for plates. But we're also not just standing around so we can get shot from any different angle. Like we're peeking, peeking, taking our time. And then right here, I wanted to get control on this situation a little bit by actually getting that knock. Because if you guys notice, there are three players in front of me. One to the left, one in the middle that I just knocked, and then one to the top right. Because if you don't have any control in this fight, the people that play Warzone nowadays are just like a pack of dogs. If they smell any type of blood, they're on your ass. Like, there's really no other way of putting it. So that's why like, I'm playing very aggressive. You guys see, I'm outgunned. I'm out plated if that even makes sense but i'm still like being aggressive so let's just go back to it really quick i'm gonna just let you guys know what i'm thinking so when i put some shots on him i'm thinking he's gonna duck down and he did you guys seen that he just ducked down because he took enough damage to where he feel like he needs to plate up so while he's doing that i'm gonna just transfer over to the next guy and then doing that right there bought me enough time to move safely to the left. Like sometimes you don't always have to shoot to kill. You can shoot to rotate. And lately, y'all, what I've been doing, I've been stacking up on stuns and uh, flashes. I've turned in that type of player. I feel like you got to. And I'll also stack up on lethals if they're around. I mean, right there, that's just to kill. I mean, dude, he was being played it up. But since I know that he's weak and I'm hearing audio, obviously there's people around me. So we're just taking our time. With this kill right here, I want to help him get my thirst and get back to my spot. Just in case, because if you guys notice where I'm at, take a look at this map. All around here, that's all high ground. So if anybody's sitting up here at any point, they can always look down and shoot at me. So just want to help him get that thirst to see where his teammates are and then just get back to my, my safe spot. Then we heard this guy land in on us. So I'm going back up to peak really quick. Get that kill and then we're going back. And also... Just based off the few people that I've killed so far, the comms I'm hearing after I kill them. And then if you like, take a look at their names, you can always tell a sweaty player by their name. Like he has extra in the clan tag and he just has a clean, simple name. It's not like dog lover 2525. And this motherfucker has a smiley face in his name. Like that's how you know he means business. I think the first guy I killed had TikTok in his name. I mean, for the most part, yeah, TikTok right here. And you can tell by the skins, like I said, if I didn't say it already. That's like a sweaty skin. The anime chick is a sweaty skin. So all of those clues led me to believe that this is a sweaty lobby and I need to, you know, be on my A game. But anyways, getting back into it, what this guy should have did right here was jump down. I feel like he kind of lacks some map knowledge because he didn't know that the two, that room connected by two doorways. But as we thirsted him, I had no idea his teammate was there because I was not watching the teammate pings. But I do see these shots flying in. I see his laser. We don't have enough time to reload. So what we do is just jump around the goofy like that and then drop shot just in case for extra measure if he did like snap onto us. You always want to make yourself a hard target and never feel like you're winning a gunfight because things can change at any moment. But once again, it's like the same situation right here. You got to kill on this guy. I had no idea the second guy was there until we seen those shots flying this way. Just get my thirst just in case that's his teammate. I don't want him to like live ping me. Jump over. Chat him instantly. Don't wait. Especially if you have ammo in your guns, you have plates on. No need to wait. Go ahead and get him out of there. And now people are, people are going to say like, oh, how'd you know he was there? I didn't. That motherfucker was, was definitely camouflaged in. But if you guys notice when I thirsted the second guy right here, his teammate pings are all over there. So that tells me that there's a good chance that the first guy that we killed has teammates that are near. So you just want to check that step. And then I threw that nade at him to thirst him without having to expose myself. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but without having to like risk going down there for that thirst. And just like that, man, we got 10 kills just playing pretty smart, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Just thinking one step ahead. 
uh right now we're just looking for more kills some type of audio cues or something that gives us a direction on where to go we see this guy up top shooting down at people so what i wanted to do is cluster him to either um make him like jump down or just move positions and also to muffle this audio while i run in to like try to find him if he was to jump down surprisingly this guy didn't i think he just chased whoever he was shooting at but pretty soon i'm pretty sure yeah we use this equipment right here like i said whatever equipment you see laying around just take it take it or just use it because you never know when it's going to come in handy i have no idea how that guy spent around like that and landed up top but it's a free kill for us so now we got this guy right here remember what i said earlier about how people smell blood and they'll they'll, they'll like get on you like that like this guy right here for some reason he was confident because he thought i was either a bad player or he just did enough damage to intimidate me i don't know what it was but he was rudely mistaken because <laughs> that man caught the gun three seconds after that like how comfortable can you be to take a fight like that when you're low ground shooting up at somebody that has a heady the dangerous game that man was playing that's just a quick transfer once again we stick that guy to get the thirst and i was also hoping that he ran or he crawled towards his teammate to cause his teammate to bleed out as well from the thermite but um while we were doing this you always got to be careful because what a lot of people do in this game they'll tell their teammate like yo i'm gonna distract them while you do this or i'm gonna shoot them get them weak and you you push them or something like that or what this team could have been doing was you know desperately telling their team to do something because they're getting lit up which happens so much bro people send their teammates off so much so we heard this guy under us and we also heard him climbing that ladder now i'm surprised that bouncing betty didn't hit him before he even got to that point what do y'all think that guy was right he was a sweat you can tell by the black noir skin and how he jumped through the door <laughs> so that was not a fight i wanted to take down low and also if he's a sweat skin like that we're playing albaga fortress i mean just resurgence in general sweats like that like to stick together so there's no way in hell i'm jumping down the lion's den with pork chop draws on it's not happening they want me they got to do something dumb like this guy right here to to risk getting this kill look at his mans look at his mans that's what i'm talking about bro Requesting Position this is what I, I literally just said it didn't i like yo you do this i'm gonna distract them I'm, I'm, I'm gonna flank them or something like that like they gotta i'm gonna make them do something dumb if they really want this kill now obviously it doesn't work every time because this game lacks movement and outplay ability but for the most part i mean even if you think about it like that though you shouldn't be able to win fights like that 1v4 1v3 but sometimes you can pull it off if you know what you're doing now this right here this is when the rotation start i caught a blessing i'm not gonna lie i caught a blessing right there because that bot right there torched him so i was dead to rights he didn't see me I'm so glad that man didn't see me because I did not want to shoot him. But when I did shoot him, I thought he seen me. So I had no choice because I'm shooting at him. And then, you know, we got the pack of wild dogs above us. They're going to hear that audio and just be on it like that. So this is that sweat team I was kind of avoiding. So right here, we hear audio all above us. I'm trying not to make noise so they know that I'm down here and they just jump down and get me. So if you guys see, I'm completely changing my, my pace and how I'm playing this. We're playing it slow. I almost didn't even want to shoot that guy. But I mean, it was a free kill. I, my, my trigger finger was itching, man. I had to get him out of there. But you guys see this. This was perfect for me. I got a knock and that gives me time to get out of there. Go as far as way as possible while they're resin him. Or while they're just distracted shooting at other people and you know whatever else so now what i wanted to do was challenge this team on an equal playing field and i knew this was risky because what i could have just did was just rotate just got out this is actually a dumb play looking back at it and this is going to lead into that rotation play i was telling you guys about so 
I mean, right there, it was just bad, bro. He won that initial gunfight. I'm not going to lie. He got the better of that one. Um, but now what you guys see me doing is backing up because like I said, teams like that, they like to stick together. Um, and he, he felt that pressure too from that gunfight. So he probably thought he was going to die as well. So I'm assuming he was begging for his teammates to come help him out immediately. Cause look at, <laughs> look at what happens. One turns into two. So now we're just waiting because they're waiting for me to pop up, reach out so they can just shoot me. They're just pre-aiming this. This motherfucker threw a bad <laughs> I'm so glad he missed that because if he would have hit that, I was cooked. So now, this is the rotation I'm talking about. There was no way I can rotate out under them or side by side with them because pack of wild dogs, they smell blood and I'm bleeding. So what I do right here is I just uh, take storm damage. I self rest because I do have two self reses. And you see this guy, he's still looking for me. He has no idea I'm back here. So now I'm trying to avoid that team. But what they did was they went from looking at me or looking for me from the left side to come back to the right side. And now they're getting shot from up here. So now what I'm trying to do is just assess the situation. So I'm trying to see what's going on. Who's winning the fight? Where's the fight going? And then before I self res, I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. So you guys see the fight's moving to the right. And there's a guy right there. I'm surprised he didn't see me. I think he was just headhunting that team though. So he wasn't really focused on looking into the gas. And I'm also glad he didn't have high, um, high alert. So yeah. That was another sweat team. That's the sweat team I was telling you guys about from the beginning. So they pretty much just took care of each other. So now what I do is I get high ground because I thought there was somebody up here, but it wasn't. The fighting was actually going on down low. So now what we're doing is we're looking for picks. That's one of the sweat guys. So I wanted to thirst him, even though it's not my kill. I wanted to get him out of there. And I was looking for his partner. I was really hoping he was going to be dumb enough to think he was good enough to run up the steps and I can catch him through that window, but he stayed low ground, which is smart. Now that high alert kind of threw me off a little. I thought there was somebody above me, but it's actually the dude under me. And now you guys see, I'm not committing to this fight at all. The reason why I'm not committing is because like I said before, sweats like to stick together. I didn't know if it was just him or if it was more than just him. So I didn't want to get into a fight where I fully commit to this gunfight and then I knock him with like two HP left and his boy comes and uh shoots me. So what we're doing now is we're pretty much just saying forget about that team and we're going for rotation. This was beautiful right here. I got high ground and I got zone. I got full vision on the last few players. But now what I'm doing right now is I'm pre-aiming this guy because he has to come out and I'm also listening for audio just in case the guy from this building to my left either tries to flank me or just moves out. But yeah, that guy, he got unlucky with that storm just taking too long to move. He was too focused on trying to beat me in a gunfight and chase me down that he completely forgot about him having to rotate. So now at this point, I know it's a 1v2. I already know the setup that they're trying to do. Yo, I'm going to shoot him. You flank around and you try to do, you try to make a play. I can hear his audio before he even makes this jump up right here. But the reason why I seen them going for that, that flank play is because look at this. Like I see this guy just run out in the open. He's going left. Where else would he be trying to get to if he's running left and not worried about fighting me? This guy is the one that's more aggressive. He's the one that's worried about fighting me. So what I'm doing now is like I'm being mindful of who to prioritize first on who to kill. And it's going to be the guy that's thirsty enough to jump up and try to flank me while I'm fighting. And then we just body slam the last guy. I was going to execute him, but he had that medic vest. He got that off quick, but yeah, man. I, I know for sure y'all learned something in this video. But if you guys didn't, let me know how I can improve as a teacher. And I'll apply it to the next video. But as always, man, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Make sure that you're subscribed. And I hope y'all enjoyed this content.